Hi, I'm Dr. Shauna, and welcome back to my sugar and sweetener series, The Bittersweet Truth. Monk fruit has been growing in popularity over the last several years as the new go-to natural sweetener. In this video, I want to talk about why you should go out and buy some for yourself. Monk fruit is a small round fruit found in the gourd family. It was discovered over a thousand years ago in the remote highlands of China. It is known as monk fruit or Luo Han Guo after the monks who first discovered it. When it was first discovered, it was used as an expectorant, a cough remedy, and to aid in other respiratory ailments. It has also been used to help with constipation and to help clear the body of heat from both external and internal sources. There are many other health benefits of monk fruit that I will go over in just a second. Now, monk fruit does contain calories and carbohydrates like any other fruit and vegetable, but because it is not consumed in its fresh version, but in its powdered extract version, it has only trace amounts of glucose and fructose, which have no effect on blood sugar levels. Monk fruit has been favored over other natural sweeteners such as stevia because it has little to no aftertaste. In 2004, China banned the removal of seeds and any genetic material of monk fruit from leaving the country. So sadly, most of us will never be able to experience the taste of the fresh fruit, but only of the dry powdered extract version used as a natural sweetener. Monk fruit contains powerful antioxidants called mogrosides, which are metabolized differently in the body than sugar and give it its very sweet taste without calories or raising blood glucose levels. It is 300 to 400 times sweeter than sugar, so it takes a very little amount of monk fruit extract to sweeten beverages, condiments, and other foods. Because of its powerful antioxidant properties of mogrosides in monk fruit, it has also been regarded as a longevity fruit. Now, while monk fruit is typically used as a natural sweetener to help aid in weight loss and as a healthy sugar substitute, there is a wide range of health benefits just by consuming monk fruit extract. A health benefit of monk fruit that has been used since its first discovery is as an anti-inflammatory and a coolant. Ancient Chinese made a tea by boiling monk fruit in water to cool the body and soothe a sore throat. Monk fruit has also been shown to in inhibit some forms of bacteria, specifically oral bacteria that causes tooth decay. Studies have also shown monk fruit may inhibit the growth of some candida symptoms and overgrowth, such as oral thrush. A study done on mice showed that monk fruit can reduce fatigue in exercising mice and increase their exercise times. Monk fruit has also been used as an anti-diabetic by the Chinese for centuries. It can reduce blood glucose levels because it has been found to have targeted antioxidant abilities on pancreatic cells, which allows better secretion of insulin by the body. Monk fruit, when used repeatedly, has also been used to fight allergic reactions. A study done on mice who exhibited symptoms of nasal rubbing and scratching due to histamines found that when they were repeatedly given monk fruit, it inhibited their histamine responses. The last major health benefit of monk fruit is its anti-cancer abilities. Animal and test tube studies have shown anti-carcinogenic effects of the mogrosides found in monk fruit. The studies have also shown monk fruit can inhibit the growth of skin and breast tumors, as well as creating a protein that has anti-cancer abilities. It's pretty ironic to me how most artificial sweeteners have actually been shown to increase your risk of cancer, but monk fruit has the ability to possibly reduce it. Now, monk fruit extract is made and formed by removing the seeds and the skin of the dried fruit, crushing it, and then collecting the juice. The juice is then dried into an extract powder. Now, as with erythritol and stevia, not all monk fruit sweeteners are going to be the same as far as quality. You need to be careful of any added ingredients such as molasses, maltodextrin, inulin, and erythritol. Now, monk fruit with erythritol isn't always bad. It is a good alternative as long as it is non-GMO and it is okay for the person who's consuming it so they don't have any gut issues, which can happen from excessive use of erythritol. 
You can learn more about the risks and benefits of erythritol in the video previously in this series. The Lincanto brand of monk fruit is very popular and they have a very good baking blend that contains non-GMO erythritol and monk fruit extract. Now this is going to be a good substitute for sugar in your baked goods. Now Brands has a monk fruit extract powder made of pure monk fruit extract that takes a very little scoop to sweeten beverages, condiments, dressings, and even soups. Now I'm going to provide the link to both of these products down in the description below. Now as you can see, monk fruit is a very good alternative for sugar for those looking for zero calorie, zero carb sweeteners. I hope this has been beneficial for you and you now feel comfortable to use monk fruit yourself. I actually have begun using monk fruit over any other natural sweetener because of its lack of aftertaste. So if you found this helpful, I would love for you to like the video, put any comments, feedback, questions below, and make sure you don't miss any of my new uploads by clicking the subscribe button and making sure you hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, healing starts from within.